For years, lawmakers shied away from online gambling, and then sports betting became a thing. Initially, two players dominated the space, DraftKings and FanDuel, before DraftKings acquired its rival, making it one of the most recognized players in the space. Its meteoric rise from $10 to over $70 was only matched by its subsequent crash back down to $10, yet it remains the top online betting stock search amongst financial pros week after week. The global online gambling market size is valued at $57 billion in 2021 and is expected to reach $153 billion by 2030. So with shares down 70% year to date, is now the time to bet on DraftKings? The business itself is fairly simple. DraftKings is a digital sports entertainment and gambling company that offers sports betting and gaming technologies for operators in 17 countries. In Q2 2022, the company reported revenue of $466 million, an increase of 57% compared to $298 million during the same period in 2021. It averages 1.5 monthly unique players on its platform, an increase of of 30% compared to last year's Q2 numbers. The company believes its recent acquisition of Golden Nugget Online Gambling can help increase revenues for 2022 and beyond. Looking at the financials, DraftKings experienced explosive revenue growth over the last four years and went from $226 million in revenues in 2018 to $1.2 billion in 2021 and is projected to finish 2022 with revenues ranging from $2.08 billion to $2.18 billion. However, the firm is not yet profitable. Operating cash flow came in at minus $772.4 million last year, with net income of minus $1.56 billion. Thankfully, the firm has $1.5 billion in total cash against total debt of $1.33 billion, so can easily pay off its short-term liabilities. Looking at valuations, DraftKings is not profitable and therefore has no P.E. gap ratio. So a better measure for unprofitable companies is its price-to-sales ratio of 3.86x, notably higher than its competitors. Being frank, from a valuation perspective, DraftKings is a terrible stock. The company has a gross profit margin of 33.1%, materially lower than its competition. Moreover, DraftKings' actual profit margin is minus 99.1%, and its operating margin is minus 108.2%. The firm's return on equity of minus 78.4% and return on assets of minus 24.9% are abysmal. Looking at growth, DraftKings has experienced year-over-year -year revenue growth of 47.3%. However, it's not significantly better than competitors given how much money the company bleeds out. In our opinion, this is a 2 out of 10 ranking stock. Shares of DraftKings have gotten hammered in 2022. However, it remains one of the most popular online sports betting platforms. And as more states legalize sports betting, its business should grow. But it's burning cash left, right, and center. Moreover, this market does not like growth companies that don't make money. This is not the time to be playing hero ball. There are simply much better alternative companies in this space. That's why we're currently passing on DraftKings and not recommending the stock as a buy.